Uh, we don't know yet. The first album was Caught in the Loop, so mm. Caught in the Loop again, maybe. <laughs> Part two. Part two. Still Caught in the Loop. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other goldfish. Yeah, hello. Jason, how are you doing? Cool. Hey, how are you doing? And we didn't bring a mag, so we just tried to use this. You didn't bring it? A mag. Well, yeah, because we... Oh, okay. It's past um, magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a music uh, in yeah, house, like in store, but not in house, yeah. in the store magazine. Yes, yeah, yeah, we distribute through them. Uh, and how many, what's your print run like? 53,000, so... That's not bad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good amount. Well, it gets it out. Yeah, it gets, gets the word. Well, that's which, more than... Yeah. That's more than zigzag. That's more than <laughs> a little more than zigzag. Yeah, about five times more than zigzag. Yeah, twice. Yeah. Only, wow. They're seventeen oh, thousand. Yeah. yeah, they're printing seventeen. They're selling about. 17. I think they're selling seventeen, printing twenty-five. So. Your eighties. This is the, the joy of publishing. You 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 print up the ABC, and the ABC basically. Oh, they're they're they they through. Yeah. Well, no, the thing is, you you don't want oh, okay. it to sell through, and the and the reality is that whatever you put into the market, you're not going to sell, and you're you. Yeah, obviously. Like yeah. But you guys. And sell it. Google guys just a giveaway. So that's why it just goes. That's brilliant. And it's like, yeah, I mean, they do great stuff. And it's just amazing. They've been there for a hundred years. They continue. Yeah, they service. They service a particular market very well. Yeah, yeah. But it's just sad when you when your main motivation is selling and you don't because you literally pop off what you print. But you have to make seventeen thousand available on on the premise that people will buy. Yeah, yeah. But it's also no, no. It's not just that. It's just the advertisers. Yeah. Are getting seventeen thousand copies of that? Yes. It is a giveaway. Yeah. Three or four thousand. Yeah. Sell. It doesn't. To the advertiser, doesn't matter. It's, no, it's as long always, as it's being read. As long as it's being read, chopped up, and stuck on yeah. walls. That's what happens to those movies. Same with you, in a way. You know, it's like people. I know. Buy so, album, well, but then it's the whole MP3 revolution, which is it's like, well, it's out. You know. Yeah. It's like the first time we went to Stellenbosch. Oh, yeah. We went there. The first time we went there, our album wasn't stopped anywhere in yeah. Stellenbosch. We sold three CDs the first time we played there. Yeah. The second time we came there, our, we, they sold. The, the club we played at it was the biggest night they'd ever had and the entire club was singing along to the <laughs> to <laughs> we were like it's called hold on mm, it's hold called university server it's called sharing it's sharing it's called sharing it's called Barney is not yeah. part of the music industry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is though he, he is he's he's going to the server he's charging he's, he's charging he's, 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 he's got the band with him yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the same sort of sort of scenario. Yeah. And how's it Although it's saving a lot more trees. Music has got a whole the whole download. Yeah, it's a download. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If, if, if it's a separate thing to the. It's part of their business. It's a business unit. I mean, to say I, I couldn't give you the the. the so you found answer. about that. But you should because the thing is that it's it's the only legal besides if you. But it's pick and play. Them. But pick, pick and play, play doesn't sell MP3s. They sell but WMAs, which yeah. is a waste of Yeah. 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 And that's where it's fallen flat because it really, when it came out, and people didn't know that it really was going to take music out. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's not MP3s, you can't put it on your iPhone. I can't put it on the yeah. iPhone. I mean, at the most, it's like, it's like making a special petrol which only works in on three cars. Yeah. 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 It only works on Toyota's. That's so yeah. the point. Yeah. Everyone's only three people driving Toyota's. Yeah, so, no, check it out. I know that it's not a huge part of the but interestingly enough, it, it works for, for artists where albums aren't out yet. You know, like this week, Mika will be at number one because the Grace Kelly single isn't available as a single anywhere. So that's where you would put the second oh, no, that album drops, it falls off the chart, people go out and they'll be able to commit money to the record. But, but what's nice about it is that you'll get, like, basically, if you had to release a new single, you'll find that all of a sudden one of your, you know, one of your singles from the first album would start creeping up back into the job because everyone starts listening to it and they're like, oh yeah, I remember the first album. Yeah. And you, you, what's happening is you'll get a repeat of a number one like in the UK. Um, it was like that with uh, The Police okay. with Roxanne. I yeah. Saw. All uh, of a sudden, two released. years later, it's back in the chart and it's the original version as it was but it's now, it's selling as many as it would as, as if it was it's amazing. It's a pretty standing press single. And it's that would be very nice to happen with the first No, because album. I mean the press single yeah, is a complete well, waste of time. Yeah. The, the press the, the single is a complete waste of time. Yes. It's it, has a, it has a two or three week shelf life in the UK. After that, they actually delete it. Yeah, they put the single out, you buy it, ooh, it's very excited, after three weeks they delete it, and it's gone. But so I'm saying actually pressing a single CD like they used to, yes. it's just a waste of time. In South Africa, money. there's never been a singles yeah. market, unfortunately, not in, not in any commercial mm. sense. So most of the bands just end up doing EPs because of yeah. the money to do a whole album. Yeah. Just like but again, your argument is it's costing you the same amount of money 
maybe yep. space wise, yep. and if you, if yep. you can yep. squeeze as much as you can onto it, it's that, going to that's fine for us. To we record ourselves. We, we, we guys who have yeah. to pay three grand a day to go mm. record a studio yeah. and an engineer, another yeah. grand a day, and, and your producer. Oh, so yeah. Was Grammy nominated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been well, through all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like sure. I've worked with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank what you. was that? You were the T-boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I was in the room <laughs> yeah. when yeah. your man... And they told me to leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Because I was painting. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah, as yeah. 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 you say, now all of a sudden people care. But yeah. you are. You, yeah, a year ago you couldn't give it away. Now people want to... Yeah. It's a amazing. funny story about Miles Davis when this guy we know. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> he's, he's friends. He, he's, he's an American guy. I won't mention him because he lives in Cape Town. He, and he's very really excitable about really music. Very excitable about music. And uh, he met. He was with. No, he was, he was, he was with. with uh, no, 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 no. Uh, then. He was uh, a famous bass player. Space play. He was a uh, Jacko. Jacko Pistorius. Yeah. He was, he was yeah, with yeah. Jacko Pistorius one day and Miles Davis phoned Jacko. Yeah. And, but, and this guy was like, oh my god, you must let me speak to Miles. He's like, so okay, Miles like, on the phone. He's like, damn, and he's like, <laughs> 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 he's like, Ugh. So eventually he's like, okay, Miles, if someone wants to speak to you, and he puts the phone over to me. And he goes, hey, Miles, how's it going? And he goes, can I speak to Jacko, please? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. Miles is too. Yeah, that's his left phone. I it's spoke to Mark, Mark Davis, took the time out of his head to tell me basically to go, Mark Davis. Yeah, 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 very nice of that. Yeah. Like it was funny. Oh, it's funny. But that's the English show, but that's the fun. Yeah, it was Mark as well. It's amazing probably for any, any musician or artist to do. Yeah, your world is a very sacred, very separate world from the world that you actually sell to and the totally. places that you play in. And then you do all of this stuff and you go out there and then you get, all the, you get this wall of say other people band-aids or people who, who want a piece of you or want to sell something to you or buy something from you or it's a it, it's a it's a weird space it's bizarre do you know the, the most refreshing person we ever came across was when we did the collab and all the other acts that were on that thing just like completely unapproachable and just sit there and look at the rock and roll don't talk to me you kind of yeah. and where's my whatever yeah. it, yeah. illicit <laughs> substance or whatever yes. and that boy Slim yes like we spent like about 45 minutes it's just having a chat with him about fishing. <laughs> she, yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he was. He had just gone fishing yeah. that day. Yeah. Like, and he weird. told us, like, what he yeah. caught, and we were like, there's the fisherman. So, like, but, and then, you and know, like, oh, the other bands were all like, you know, don't yeah. talk to us, we're rock stars. Right? Yeah. And it was just really cool to see that it doesn't have to be like It was that. nice that you didn't know that I'd snuck into his change room and stole beers. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, you never get the cool gears. Like, you know, do we have backline? No, you don't. Everyone else has backline. You're just lucky to be Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was, yeah, we were just so to be there we were like super and they know that too yeah big fans will tell you that yeah it's a privilege well they actually paid us to play the gig which was that doesn't happen very often which doesn't happen not often enough yeah but I mean most of the time the people are like oh you have to free yeah well because we're giving you a platform yeah now, what are you doing radically different that you didn't do on the first record besides it? Obviously, the obvious. Well, the, the funny thing was is that we recorded the first album nearly... Yeah, well, I mean, it was a long, over a long period of time. Yeah. We recorded those tracks from, but when we first started. Years ago, so you weren't kidding, in 2012. Yeah. It, took, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, took, it took like a while. <laughs> and um, basically, I think the fact that we were doing this one of the not, not creating it but recording it in a, a much more concentrated, concentrated space, space, of time. space of time like like one or two years as opposed to six <laughs> from, to, your, from your own episode no, I'm just kidding, yeah. no, no, I'm just kidding. Like for, you know in a couple of months as opposed to I mean look, most of the last album we actually did in a, in a very concentrated, concentrated time, time and then spent a lot of time like Check, yeah. <laughs> so your, your tour dates will dictate the release date because you will be forced to leave the country to go and do this tour and if you don't do so before then yeah, the exactly. tour will Well, we're going in July regardless. Yeah. With a, okay. So it has, it has to be, it has to be, it has has to be yeah. finished. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. printed, everything yeah. by then. Yeah. Uh, it will be. There's no, there's, there's no different. We've got the material. The this material is there. This is lazy, but it's No, no, no. It's a no, no, case, no. case we have to meet people like you. We're going to get we should be process. recording now. Oh. <laughs> no, exactly. No, like as I said, when I was talking, it's like the whole balance of all the things that do need to happen yeah. as aside from yes. 
which never was there before because yeah. no one knew, no one, there wasn't any of that. We were just care. making the album. No and we, were like, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we made the album and it was like, okay, now what do we do? Yeah. Uh, I guess we should probably yeah. try and sell it. Well, yeah, you know, whereas now, now we're like, having to think about all that stuff like four months before yeah. it even gets done. Then if you do it right, then it's done up front. Well, that's why we just had a meeting now about the tour and all that stuff already. And the tour is like yeah. six and a half, seven months away. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's kind of. But you know, to get back to that question of, of what the album's going to be or if it's going to be radically different, I think, uh, I mean, the first album had our first track we ever did on it, mm. ever. Yeah. We'd ever fiddled, yeah. our first foray into electronic music, yeah. the track is on there, that's yeah. Dream. And that got released in America. Oh, and, successful track. Yeah, yeah. It was like the first thing we ever did. And, I mean, I listen to it now and go, oh God. <laughs> but people still love it. Yeah, and it's a good track. And the funny thing is, the first track we did and the last track we did did very well. Yeah. Because the last track that we put together was All Night. So we were doing in the middle. Who knows? Well, let's yeah, skip the middle this time. The amazing thing about that is, is that the, the, the track, like uh, the first track, the real deal, has been like a sleeper track. Yeah. Where, where now it's like the biggest track we do. When we play live, people go yeah. completely crazy for it, but the radio is not play it. It's the weirdest, like. I think, it's also, I think it's also a case of the fact that the album is spreading more, that, that track is getting more well known because. Um, it's the underground. It's, it's exactly, the actual CD is doing the work that the radio yeah. Yeah. should have done you six like, months ago. Sorry, you like sort of. Yeah, that's yeah. The concept. <laughs> and it's the first track on the album, so it's the first track everybody puts the CD in once yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, that's the, you know, you've got to put the, your. your, your I, I always think you must put your best song first. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, unless you do two. Well, hopefully, yeah. You know, if you're U2, then you can put it wherever you want. Yeah. But if you're U2, you probably got 10 Not necessarily, though. Not necessarily, though. No, not, 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 I'm not talking about No, but if it's the first exposure you had to something. If it's, you know, if it's your first, first, first impression. It's your first, it's a first what impression. what makes it the best track, though? Because I think it's you, it could be, you know. That's the thing, it's a tricky thing. You can't. It's like, yeah. you, how do you know what the best Some track is? Some of the most unlikely. Yeah, like you are saying, on. the it's secret like, track, you wouldn't have gone. Well, it's like Freshly Ground on the DVD, then. Yeah. Didn't put it on the album. Yeah, because things are yeah, for them. Yes. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> 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 Again, yeah. we'll sell it. Yeah, it's amazing. Like that song is everywhere. Yeah. Like, and one day, like even now, like one day, we're four, five different places. Yeah, it's incredible. And they've just sold ten thousand in Italy. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And also, yeah, endorsed, not endorsed, but sold the rights to. Sold, I think they've probably sold three songs to various ad campaigns. Yeah, they have all sorts of good places. Yeah. Yeah. Although you, I think there is that fine line. But then again, I mean, the, the fact that you release your music commercially means that you are quite happy that as many people hear it and play it as yeah. much as possible. You can't be pressed about it. Yeah, exactly. No, we, we're very you know, so well. If we hear it, you know, if we hear your doobie doo in a year from now, you know. Yeah, you see yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's yeah. the thing, if you, if you do really badly and no one knows you, oh, we did really well, now you sold out. Yeah. You can never win that. No, but everyone champions the underdog. Nobody celebrates the, the yeah. Yeah, it's funny, eh? Uh, yeah. That is a strange thing. Yeah. I just like to break them down. Is that it? Because, because everyone, everyone always talks about that South Africa sort of... And people own you. In a mm. South African context, people, that's your success now, is that you are the best kept secret <clears throat> to so many people. The second that that market... It's so interesting you say that, though, because we had this where somebody said to one of somehow got back to a friend of ours that they said ah oh, I hate that band Goldfish <laughs> and and the person she was saying it to was Thank a you. close friend of David's yeah and 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 she was like but why yeah I was like oh it's you know you know what it's actually I don't, I don't know it's not that I don't like them I hate their crowd and then she's like what crowd. I hate and she said because like, she'd gone to Kirstenbosch okay. and uh, come to the picnic thing and yeah. it just like turned into like two <laughs> army <laughs> like six <laughs> Oh, she was the quite You were messing, messing with her wine time. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, that was quite a strange <laughs> reason, do you know? Yeah. I was like, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll go vet them next time. So. Yeah. <laughs> don't mosh. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> move or yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah, careful. People don't mosh to your gig. They, yeah. they move. And they yeah. move. They, they feel the love. They, yeah. don't, they don't want to touch yeah. each other. Is it a little freaky sometimes to actually see that kind of thing happening? Because I mean, I remember seeing you at Kirstenbosch, but in Kirstenbosch, at a Vintage launch. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that, that, that was, was kind of cool. That was, was, but that yeah. was good at the time. Yeah, but you know, that's one of those sort of everyone sitting back with the yes. thing going, "Oh, look at me!" Oh, yeah, so, you know, tragically hip. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and, yeah, sadly, you fit it in. Yeah, I know that. That is the, the kind well, of thing. Well, you were doing that as well. <laughs> that's the thing, though. Is it, it's kind of the, 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 the double-edged sword of golf, which is that thing where you can fit into <laughs> sort of the best yeah. of a DJ and the best of a band combined yeah. into one. Where yeah. you can fit into a nightclub, you can go play at the armchair. Yeah. You can go do a Vintuk yes. corporate launch. You can do like anything, well, you can pretty much. Uh, yeah, you can but, but then what happens is you start, unless you are kind of having a vision for yourself about where you're wanting to, to go, mm. like you can easily get sort of hijacked by other people's yeah. sort of idea of what you are. And then we get like these things all the time, like, oh, your album, your album is such a weird mixture of up-tempo and down-tempo tunes. But who in the hell would want to have a whole album of just like yeah. one thirty yeah. like beat? Yeah. And you, you listen to Milo's album, yeah. and that's got a down. He's, he's got hits which are like dance tunes, but then his album's got down tempo tunes on. You listen yeah. to Cascades album. Yes. He's got house tracks and he's got down tempo tracks. Mm. So it's quite. A, so we're just trying to make sure that, especially for this next album, is that we don't let what other people sort of are necessarily sort of say, oh, you must do like a, a more up tempo or dance. But, but what has worked for you, if you the instruments yeah. definitely yeah. definitely the instruments yeah. are what the new, I mean I think the new, the new definitely one of our one of our goals I think a broad goal is just to try and inject the sort of energy yeah. of, of, the live of the live show into the recordings a bit more you know it's a di- very difficult thing to do but well, you, um, you, you can't do that in the studio so if you know, yeah. the stuff you do like record live because you can't yeah. it's just that's the like thing the is you and get you know, oh you know you've got to put in it you can have an energetic recording yeah. as opposed to something which is like that quantized yeah. and sort of yeah. yeah. I mean we yeah. do spend a lot of time I mean we probably spend more time on the feel of things than we do on like on, on aspects like sound or even you know like We'll get the sound. We'll spend. Lot, I'm not saying we don't spend time on that, but we'll spend. We'll spend like let's say trying not to make a lot of time sound electronic. Something sound great, mm. but then we'll spend even more time making sure it's in the right place. So it sounds yeah. human as opposed to just like. Do, 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 yeah. We play in a lot of stuff. We don't Computer, try to quantize really everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. You know what it is? It's, it's all about like we have the when we play live. It's such an instinctive like sort of intuitive like we there's yeah. no we don't have like a set thing yeah. we do. It just kind of we just go. It's yeah, never been, we've never had a rehearsal. Yeah, we've never rehearsed the band. Yeah, so it just we just sort of like yeah, yeah. And well, now it's like trying. Yeah. How do you get that and? Sort of channel, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how do you the, channel that into a, a you can't into improvise a, you know, uh, genius. genius yeah. you know, <laughs> improvise yeah. genius genius yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's definitely the goal for this album yeah. is to try and get that I don't think it's exactly a sound we're not going to say well we want to sound like Britney Spears or something you know? we're not doing yeah, that we're yeah, like yeah, yeah. We're just shave our heads. Yeah, we're just thinking we're going to shave our legs. 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 We're
crazy. Ooh. It's like and obviously electronic yeah. music, so it's kind of best yeah, yeah, nice. and, and, and they don't speak English. It's great. So yeah. even if they're 18, you don't know what they're saying. Yeah, they're just smiling. They're, 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 they're like, they're like, they like you. Not right. <laughs> 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 yeah, and the, the first gig we did, the record company that releases all of our favorite acts in Japan was there. Right, a complete flock. And we went for lunch the next day, and and now, yeah. Yeah, what does it mean though? I mean, like, it's like everybody to see, yeah, because I mean, it's difficult to, you know, every band that's ever gone, it's ever released an album anywhere in Europe or the States, they go to Japan and they yeah, get well, no, we haven't done that though. No, but there's like this whole buzz and they're like, they're, they're huge. But like, does it mean that they sell like a hundred thousand? I hope so. It, so it, was, it used because, to be the second largest yeah, um, yeah. in uh, music buying yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. In the world. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it is anymore. I think it's the third or fourth, but it's yeah. like massive. Because you would have but they look at Europe a lot for, yes. for their stuff. So yeah. they sit there looking over the gang. It's sort of like South Africa, mm, except mm. Much, much bigger. Yeah, much, much bigger. Yeah, I mean, you got, you know, as we have, we get sort of pumped by all the overseas stuff. Yeah. And that's where China, all, like the biggest thing would be everyone's been working against in the last yes. 10, 12 years in the music industry, or well, forever. Yeah. <laughs> since, 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 since there was an industry, yeah. Since, since the readmission, yes, yeah. as they say in Test Cricket. Yeah. Yes, uh, since the since, readmission, since, we better, since, we, since readmission, we, we that's that basically we've been trying, like everyone's been trying to like, elbow their way through all the, uh, the quagmire of, of overseas content that just gets like slapped on us by. Yeah, that's another like frustrating thing though, is that we, like we've been doing a couple of interviews and they always, we always get this question like, oh, you know, musicians are, the, the industry is in such a state of like flux and it's so like awful it's and what do you, industry. it's such in a bad way and we're like, you know, no, like it's better than it's ever been. No, but you, you know, create this place, the thing is, yeah. without your album there is no album, so you create, yeah. you create, a, you create, it's a, a very market. entrepreneurial kind of, Absolutely. it's what you like when you get out, yeah. 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 if there's a whole lot of crap Albums out there, the industry is doing badly because it's just a lot yeah. of crap. But, but fair like enough, maybe it we are lucky in a lot of ways. So I think rock bands must struggle a lot because literally the venues you have to play are like in South Africa. And they're also yeah. not, as, they're not as, as, as accessible. Uh, no, yeah, no, no one accessible, it's not really that. It's, they're not as versatile. Yeah. We can do. Like we say, you just drop it down. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We have. Hey, if you pay. We did freaking Perky Falco's wedding. We've done like. Yeah, happily. We had bizarre things like yeah, the yeah. lunchtime set at, at Design and Darbo. Yeah, but isn't that fun to do? No, it's like, awesome. It's yeah, awesome. That's, like that's, why we, that's why we are very lucky in a way that yeah. we get to sort of so slot. We also get like the slot between bands and DJs. So, yeah. like, you know. But is it, is it a bit frustrating that. Because you are all things to all men, but people can't put you in a nice little box and go, okay, that's goldfish. No, that's great. We can define you, we can touch you, we can feel you, know exactly what you're about. They sound like this. Yeah. But that could be your demise too. Yeah, that's for kids. Well, it's like the. But they're trying to catch you the whole time. Well, everyone says, oh, they sound like the Cypher Consentiment. They sound like the Cypher You can have a rock band, you put a flute to it, people say you sound like Saint Germain. Yeah, it's amazing. As soon as you put saxophone, or saxophone is the the greatest thing. You put saxophone in Anything. Yeah, it's jazz. That's jazz. Yeah. Put a double bass. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. that? Is that a cello? Yeah. Yeah. It's a cello. It's a big cello. Yeah, I just get the cello the whole yeah. time. It's really it's not a cello. <laughs> it's not a cello. <laughs> yeah. The irony here is Dave and I both started off playing cello. Really? Yeah. yeah. Both of us. <laughs> it will haunt you. My great. <laughs> For reasons. Yeah. Because no one knew what it was. And you play. couldn't do much of it. Although Kodo has done a good job of. of but you know, look, cello well. is cello. Yeah. Always much cooler. Yeah. Always but, has been. But now, working with other people, you clearly work well with other people too. And you know, yeah. is there is there anyone that's, that that you're looking to work with? You mean like artists? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got various singers and vocalists Ooh. and instrumentalists. So we definitely harassing you. Yeah. Yeah. We will definitely be, you know, coming. I'm actually meeting with some tomorrow. That's right. Some vocalists. Definitely some of the same ones of the old album. Mm. We also like, want to keep sort of a cohesion as well. Yeah, right? And we like those. Uh, we like right? those vocalists yeah. exactly. You know? mm. not right. I don't know if yeah, Joanne Vaughan yeah. will be on it again. She's yeah, she's, she's, she's doing the, she's on the West End. Send her the track. Yeah, no, we could do that. She's on the West End. Yeah. Well, Singing Mamma Mia. Do um, Mamma Mia. Cool. Yeah, Mamma Mia remix. <laughs> Oh, oh. Remix. Yeah. Remix. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to drink a bottle yeah. of whiskey every time we do the session. Mamma <laughs> Mia! Here we go again! Just be here again. Think of the money. Think of the money. Yeah, that's what she does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
an exciting time. Yeah. That, you know, that's the, actually also another beauty of it is that because we're not a normal, usual band, we're not stuck with one vocalist, yeah. which is a good thing and a bad thing. Five, you know? Yeah, it, like, it, does, it does make it more difficult now. We've got to find someone who fits the song. And it's like, okay, this song was the one key for that guy or that girl. Mm. It doesn't suit her or him, mm. blah, blah, blah. So it does make it a bit more challenging, whereas as opposed to if you have your vocalist, that's your vocalist. You don't have to worry about it. They're just mm. going to be able to sing mm. everything, you know? But it, it, it's also advantageous well, you from our side. Because you can do that, you can perform live, and your, your actual vocal track can just travel with you. Well, that's what we do. No, that's yeah, what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Our own stuff of samplers yeah, when we do yeah. it live. I yeah. mean, sometimes we do and the people show. are happy to accept that because you are playing. Whereas if you know, also we, we, we try to get away from the whole... You know, the, the vocalist as the star. Yes, because it's always yeah, like it's that. Always Whenever you have a band, there's yeah. always. Yeah, the but there has to be like someone that they stare at. There's a few that they stare at, you know, the collective. It's not just. It was like there was no doubt with Gwen Stefani. It was yeah, like yeah. Rolling Stone, like the, just when they started out, it was like Rolling Stone phone and they wanted to be on the cover. And the whole band said, yeah, we can be on the cover. Yeah, we just no, it's one Gwen. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, yeah. You know, so. Two years later, she had a solo album. Exactly, you know. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, stick together. Yeah. So, so that's that's also also when we play live we, we don't just like press the vocal and like it just plays we like sort of flip it and fiddle with it and yeah that's the other side it it's more, becomes more it's, of a it's part of the it's part of the electronic tapestry of what we're doing yeah, you know? yeah. and, and it becomes an instrument the song yeah. isn't just pressing a button you sort of use yeah. it in a musical way it's yeah. just like okay, it comes like a synth I mean you can take a you can take a piece of a vocal and turn it into a sound that doesn't sound it doesn't like really it. like a vocal and it can play a bass line but then know? that's that's sort of the answer because I mean, that, unless you doing something where you do want that raw no, we but, definitely uh, would use it. Yeah, no, it's not that we will never ever use yeah, it. Yeah, but it's, it's great that you do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you think of bands like the Fresh Mode, when that when brought in their backing singers, all of a sudden those songs went from being brilliant already, but now all of a sudden there was this almost the soulfulness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. In the last face, and you, and, you know, hairs on the back of your neck to that. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of the singers we use are slightly like, they. They get a bit crazy. <laughs> you have to watch them. Please hold them. All right, can I call you back? Okay, bye. Sorry. No, it's fine. So, um, finish the album before yeah. July. Finish the album before what July. Uh, what will you do between now and then? Like, yeah, okay, yeah after after literally, literally that. We're literally. doing a couple of gigs, but because that's how we, uh, we yes. play. Sell some records in Japan. Yeah, I was going to wait to you. Yeah, I was going to wait ages for that. That's, you know. And then they're like, no, I didn't sell any. Meanwhile, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, how are they going to do What are you going to do? Yeah. Get on the plane. I want to see all the things. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. They write from right to left. Yeah, oh, exactly. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, so that's obviously also being adapted. Yeah. 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 Um, it's like the balance of like trying to, to I mean, Dave's married and got a kid and like, that's also been like quite interesting balancing act because we had a kid and we went on tour. Yeah. <laughs> but, but luckily that's what happened. Yeah. Because there's only two of us, we were able to fly with yeah. Bridget and his uh, girl Zoe. Yeah. And it's been Brilliant. pretty, pretty, most of the time it's been all right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if anything, it's probably a good, uh, it is. It's a good level of level. Yeah. It does, yeah. definitely. And for me as well, like just having, not being in a group of people who, you know what's like in a band, there's always a drummer. Yeah. The drummer's yeah. always yeah. trouble, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and they, they get you into all sorts of whistles. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> I was a bass player, no one wants to talk to a bass player. What's up with that? I don't know. But the bass player's always the lurker. It's always uh, the guy at the back like, mm-hmm. yeah. one note, it's looking bored. But you normally get the interesting introvert uh, girls. That's also yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. And instead that they because I really understand you like hey, you know who I am I've never met you in my life yeah but no I mean it's I think from that point of view it must be yeah. fascinating because you, you can't buy into your own heart either. no like we never have we literally I think the reason we're doing this is because we're just loving playing yeah, every single playing. time every single time we play it because it's not the same yeah. because we're not rehashing the song exactly the same way like the, a lot of bands have to be yeah 
you never get bored. Oh, yeah. like, well, it's almost, that's an old rule, that it's almost interesting for you than if you play it. Yeah, exactly. And also the people that can see that we're sort of, yeah. you know, it's, it's, interested it's in our eyes. Yeah, so. You know, it's like a better word. Yeah. We're, not, yeah, we're having fun. So that, that definitely helps. Okay. It's, never, it's never not been fun. Never. Mm. Even when you sort of exhausted or mm. still you're doing exactly what you do like sometimes you know we'll do a gig where maybe he, like something like that winter thing where yes. it's maybe not a screaming crowd yes. you know but sometimes we'll go to different places because we won't be They'll in that you on a different yeah, level yeah. that's also the thing if you're playing to screaming crowds every day you, you, you get a false sense of reality as well yeah, also oh. it's like a strange sort of yeah, you do anything, and everyone's like, ah! And you're just like, oh, it's oh, easy. What was the first one? You know, it's like, it's, it's, also, it's, spot. Yeah. it's also cool, you know, it's also cool to be able to do other stuff so that, you know, other gigs where maybe, you know, I mean, also when there's not the pressure of having a massive crowd like mm. hanging on every moment, that you, everything that you do, mm. you can go on, you can go to other places. You can experiment, you can, take, you can experiment with stuff, you know. But what's not so that? Maybe you play with the keyboards. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> <you play. laughs> no, but the nice thing is that people get to define you in their own way, which I think that's part of the success of the band. Yeah. You're not saying this is what we look like. This is yeah. We, 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 we you don't package yourselves. You put yourself out there. People go and package and package you in their way in their home in their cars, on their iPods, whatever. And I think that's... So that music's is, like that as well. Are you, are you want to... I, mean, I think one of the goals of our music is that it sort of just doesn't appeal to people, but people can add their, like, their meaning to the music. Well, it's lacking something, okay? Yeah. So they have to play their own personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's actually a very clear point of view. It's actually a very kind of point that we've discussed. Exactly. Exactly. Everyone, we becomes, the last everyone, part. everyone becomes part of the music. Yeah. 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 It's like, this is that's mine. Yeah. 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 If you actually get, it is it, the, the style of music we're doing is also quite sort of lifestyle, the soundtracking mm. kind of to your life vibe. It's not like the song about losing yeah. your girlfriend or your yeah. dog or whatever. Yeah. You know. Mm. Um, so, so at least yeah. it's kind of like an uplifting yeah. sort of thing, which is kind of we don't like making sad music either. No. Like, I mean, it's yeah. not really yeah. bad or no. tortured, sort of scary. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying that's not us. Yeah, really. yeah. Okay, yeah. We like the activity, yeah. funky, yeah. kind of sound. Textured. Mixed with this, like, the electronica, so yeah. it's like a, the best of... Yeah. Is that, but now you're clearly going to have a lot of sort of, uh, decisions to make this year. And probably yes. the year after that. Yeah, always. Is it, is it difficult to do you do it as a, as a team? You sit there like, oh, this is great. No, this is great. I think it's a crap idea. It's a good idea. Well, luckily, most of the time we agree, yeah. which is quite useful. Mm. Um, Any bad decisions that you make? You're never going to be 100%. You're never going to ever be 100% through what's up. And if we made a bad decision, we wouldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I can't oh, that's that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't even think of anything anyway. Yeah, that's you. I think that, okay. There's never been a, like, a regret. Oh, oh, best decision, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the funny thing is, is that because we were always musicians before that, before yeah. we were doing yeah. this, is that we were playing in jazz bands, rock bands, and dope and rock bands. Yeah. Um, I was playing with Flash for a bit. I played with mm. Cuckoo. So we were doing like a whole broad section of like different styles of music and bastardized all of that and made. Yeah, it. but it also just gave us like a nice, well-rounded sort yeah. of take on grounding a musician. Of, uh, and it wasn't like, oh, I want to be, I want to do what a DJ does. Or we were just like how do we, trying to, how do we make a music that we were hearing in our heads, uh, sort of thing. Okay. And it's, it's about half of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we've like done like a fifth of the potential. Until we get a, until we get a USB connection for the back of your brain, it's, happen, it's yeah. coming. It's yeah. coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Thank you. I know you're gonna get back to it. 